Well, I'd, I'd like to welcome us all here for the Hadley Committee on Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. I'd like to call the meeting to order, and it's uh, 7.05. Uh, do, we don't need any additional technical support, right? We're, we're good? We've got our right. We've got our in person. <laughs> person. Okay. <laughs> do we have any opening reflections? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'll just thank um, Joanne and Sarah for taking the lead in my absence for a couple months and doing everything so superbly and allowing me to get away and have a restful time <laughs> with my husband. So I really appreciate that. Well, thank you. You're yes. Welcome. Thank you so much. Did you have something, Megan? I was watching your face. You were thinking hard. Mm. Um, I, you know, I just continue to be really inspired by the students that I work with at UMass. And um, I'm teaching a class on intro to social work. And a lot of the students that I'm working with are interested in going into the mental health field. And so it's just been a great opportunity to hear their hear about their interest in terms of thinking about professions um, that they feel like could help make a difference in caring for people. And um, and I also have a lot of very social justice minded students that are also thinking about um, important issues in the world around oppression and racism and um, sexism and, and, uh, and really being thoughtful about that. So, I keep I continue to be inspired by my teaching. That's great. It makes it worthwhile. Mm -hmm. it's yes. Yeah. Anyone else? Is that good? Okay. Let's move on to the uh, review of the minutes. If the clerk has any other reports or the <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the clerks. <laughs> Hopefully we've all had a chance to look at the minutes and see if there's any corrections. It still says draft at the top. I right. says once we approve it, we'll yeah. Take. Yeah. We gotta change that. So if people don't have any edits, do we have a motion to hope I do this right? Move to approve minutes. <laughs> a good look at them. Oh, take I, a good look. Well, I have nothing to add or subtract. So, okay. so uh, I'm I can make that motion. Okay. <laughs> we have a motion. Uh, is second it? So oh, Do okay. I need to That's second right. it? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so uh -huh. all those in favor of approving minutes, let's have a hands. I think we're unanimous. Yes. Great. Okay. So let's see, under old business, um, we have, do we want to continue the conversation? We had about uh our really nice meeting with Troy Brin and his many good comments, such a, a good document. Um in my notes I had just noticed that the topic of creating a common language had come up. Um you can see here then we want to work together with some of these other groups that have mm. similar DEI concerns. So that's on there. See if we want to continue that. I I like the idea that we're we're cooperating with other groups, hearing from different people in the community. I think we'd like to. I'd like us to continue yeah. that. Yeah. I think we're bound to get some good ideas along the way as to what we can do to help or support some of these people yeah. um, mm -hmm. and some of these activities. Yeah. So I would like to hear more. We don't have a specific recommendation of who to hear next but uh i don't know i really like the idea that we're learning yeah 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 i like i like the idea of um you know the way we've met with someone from the school someone from the police department the hr person someone from um what is bill dwyer's that the planning board planning board 
you know, are there other boards and committees and what you call them in town that are, I mean, everybody is in some way involved with some kind of diversity, sure. you know, because there's okay. a diverse kind of diversities. <laughs> um, you know, are there people from other boards and committees that would be interested in talking to us or us talking to them about how diversity is part of their responsibility or their work? I think the first one I would think of would be Hadley Learns. Mm -hmm. I would imagine yeah. they would have some good ideas for what we could do. Um, we're, we have been sponsored some, um, some speakers and some events and movies and we could learn from them what we could do in addition to what we've already done. Yeah. I think we might get some good ideas from them. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. That's my first thought about this. The others are wonderful, but I think that's the one that's most most in line with what we're doing. It's not an official committee, but yeah, there's a, sort of a group of people that are kind of at the core of it that mm -hmm. that would would be that would probably enjoy being invited in to talk about. Yeah, I'd be very surprised if they came if we didn't find something we could cooperate with them right. on. Right, mm -hmm. right. You could learn from about the committee. Yeah. about the community. Right. We could even circle back to the conversation with Troy mm -hmm. um, in the minutes. I think we talked about Hadley Learns as perhaps helping mm -hmm. to come to a common language. And there's so much mm -hmm. expertise and knowledge in Hadley Learns. I think that but we could invite them, as you suggested, to talk about their group, but also to talk about you know, this idea of establishing a common language. Mm -hmm. And they might have some suggestions for what we could do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. along the lines of what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So we don't, we're not clashing, but we're mm -hmm. supporting each right. other. Right. Mm -hmm. Or something they want to do that we can collaborate with. Yep. Yeah. Same thing. So I would suggest we invite them. I agree. So are you making a motion? I will. I make a motion that we invite Hadley Learns to speak with us about common interests and projects that we might cooperate. I would second that. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. I, would I think that. that feels unanimous, but let's yeah. see. Yeah, great. Mm -hmm. that, and so, what's the way that one would reach out to Hadley Learns? That would be, um, I think of Sarah. <laughs> There were three people who were kind of at the core when I started being involved, which were Umera yeah. and Mara Breen and hold on, I'm not going to be able to come up with the third name. This is typical. If there's 13 people, I can come up with 12 names. If there's seven people, I can come up with six. <laughs> I, I used to, to notice that the other person on the, the same board that and there's on the school. Is it this, a school or some? Mm. In a school. He has a last name that starts with PF. I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh, Will? Will? Pfeiffer. I think it's Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer. Okay. That was Do they have a chair? Do they have a website? Do they have. Hadley Learns board? has a website. Yeah. Hadley Learns has a website. I just don't know. Yeah. Can we reach them through the website? Or by emailing them. Um, I've probably got, I know I've got an email. They learned the email the next so I would be able to look that up. Would you, Sarah, be willing to share your make that reach out? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. That would be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, anything else on that? We did with that for now. Okay, great. So, Sarah, you agreed to reach out? Yeah, I said, okay, okay. Yeah. great, nice. And do we want to have a meeting that we would like to invite them to? I would suggest our next meeting. If it could be, if they could meet that early, if we could establish something that early. Mm -hmm. Okay, and to come to our main meeting. <clears throat> if not. 
you know, if that's not convenient, then they would. So, Mayor Jim and Annika, you could you could let them know that next two meetings coming up, either one of right, right. May 16th or June 20th, is that right? Yeah. With the agenda to learn more about mm -hmm. Hadley Learns and also to invite a collaboration on working with others in Hadley to develop common language as Great. Troy suggests. Very well worded. What was the June 12th? June 20th. June 20th. Yeah. Maybe I can. <laughs> no, I don't know if I can, but the agenda is to learn more about the group mm -hmm. and to discuss um, potential collaboration on. Did you write down what I said? <laughs> I was just doing it now. <laughs> um, collaborating on uh, the development of a common language. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. As Scoy suggested, he, he defined what mm -hmm. terms he thought would be common language. I think it was DEI and yeah, I can refer accommodation. To person. And mm -hmm. sorry, common language mutually accepted definitions of DEI, belonging, accessibility, and accommodation. Right. Yeah, there you go. Yes. That'll open up a lot of you know, conversation. Yeah. Right. Okay, great. Uh, anything else on that? Okay, to move on. Uh, okay, the next topic here is actually something I initiated, which was just the idea of us gathering socially. Mm -hmm. uh, and the idea was thrown out there, maybe a pop potluck. Mm -hmm. And I think I said, I love outdoors. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Any opportunity. To know each other and so we're just looking to see if we're ready to to look at some dates locations and set something up there are some of us missing right now but mm -hmm. do we want to put out a few ideas and you know use mm -hmm. Do, do we want to use email to get ideas from the people that aren't present? And, you know, I don't know what dates are good or not. I don't know how you want to. I could do a, um, I just did this for my class. I could create a doodle poll so that yeah, people can then vote on which dates work the best. If we come up with a number of dates and then I can send it to the group and then everybody votes and then it'll tally which which times work best for the most people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that'd be great. Yeah. Because now I know which weekends I'm not available. Right. Until now. So, yeah. Good. Okay. And do we okay. think that the, is this potluck for us only? Is it for significant others? What what was the idea? Good question. Oh, I wouldn't mind if significant others oh, okay. were included. I wouldn't mind meeting. I know I know so I've met some of your significant others already. Yeah. My significant other hears a lot about what we're doing, so it wouldn't be foreign. <laughs> right. I remember you talking about not wanting it to be a business meeting. Right. And I think when you bring people in, right. um, it really yeah. mitigates against it being a business meeting. And that's a good point. Which we're not allowed to do anyway. Right. So. right. so we're thinking weekend. So, is that what was suggested? Is that how it, a weekend? So. Yeah. I think so. I do know this time of year, particularly those involved in schools, it sometimes gets really busy, right? Mm -hmm. But why don't we just start with putting some dates and times out there? Mm -hmm. I think if it wasn't necessarily a dinner time meal, one of those options is, say, an afternoon informal gathering on a Saturday or Sunday. Mm -hmm. At yeah. a four o'clock or three o'clock okay. time, mm -hmm. sure, that opens mm -hmm. the door for things to happen. So, mm -hmm. if that was Good point, one or two of the options mm -hmm. that might get us more dates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
That's okay with me too. Especially in the school, for Kayla and for me, yeah. it's always you know, concerts and you know, meetings and that kind of thing. So, yeah. So, are we looking at dates? Are we bothering to look at dates in May, or are we only looking at June? Or I think we see say both. Okay. It could it could be challenging. You never know. <laughs> yeah, <we do. laughs> I think we do an afternoon thing and make that one of the options. We're more yeah. likely to time right. in either May or June. I know that for me, I very often leave Sunday afternoon between two and five or six, kind of open. Mm -hmm. uh, nice weather in my garden, but if they're right. gathering, and that's I don't, I don't, right. It's you know, and I like your suggestion. That's one because of the options. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Does anybody have any trouble with a Sunday? Any mm -hmm. conflicts with like sports or? Well, looking at upcoming Sundays, I would not be able to do May 5th. Same with me. Same. Um, and then the, the 12th is Mother's, Mother's Day, 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 which mm -hmm. can be probably somebody's plan. Yeah. yeah. Skip that. At least some people. Well, the 19th looks open, open as far as I can tell. And so it's the 26th. From the 26th is the Sunday before Memorial Day. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That's not, a, <laughs> that, it's not an impossibility. Mm -hmm. So the one before Memorial Day would be the 19th. That's the 19th. Yeah. There's an idea. 519. Okay. And or 526. Yeah, it's Memorial Day, Megan. So oh, is it? The next oh, day yeah. Is oh, right. Yeah. Okay. How about the so. following that June? Okay. June second, I could do. I can't do. Just I can't second. do that. Okay. I can't either. Okay. Good. Yeah, the, June. the night. Okay. Possibility. Hope somebody's very understand. I am. And then the one after that is Father's Day, so that's a probably not. Yep. And then what about the 23rd? As I can Mine's open. tell at this point, that's open. That's my high school reunion weekend. Oh, Are fun. You Significant. Why don't we start with those two, the first two that we got, and then we can work yeah. forward from there. Neither of those work. We'll go okay, so we have the 16th, the 19th of the May. The 19th and the 16th, right? 19th of May and the 16th, 16th of June. Of 9th of June. Ninth. Six nine is a Sunday. Oh, I'm sorry. I wrote it. Okay. Thank you. Six nine. Five nineteen and six nine. Okay. Five. Are we adding was... the June twenty third as a third option or no? I'm not available then. That's my high school reunion. Oh right. You just said that. Okay. Yep. So yes. look at those two weekends. Start with those two. And, and so what were those dates one more time? 519. Okay. 69. I don't think we need to do a doodle poll if there's only two dates. <laughs> I think, you know, Crystal and Mark can just say if they, you know, if they could do one or both of those days, and then maybe we just decide from there. Okay. Great. And we would have to decide where he would go. Yeah. Mm. Well, as far as we could probably get space here. Probably, I was thinking. Yeah. Why not? So there, is there, is a, there is an outdoor vision at our, at where we live. Mm -hmm. We could, if we wanted to bring food, uh, just refreshments, we can have that place and all sit outside and the weather should be okay. And, it's covered in case it rains. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's a possibility. Mm -hmm. That's great. Great. We will check to see if those okay. dates are available. There. Great. I'm sure they are. Can we revisit the doodle poll, Megan? Maybe if yeah. you put those out with different times on those days. What okay. about that? Right. Afternoon versus evening. Well, yeah. Like, a you know, just a like yeah. two to four. Four to six, or one to three. Like, what about that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Two to four, 
Okay, one to three, two to four, four to six p.m. and and go ahead and do the poll. Do the poll with those two dates, and then ask people if any of those. What what would that be? Six options. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. No problem. That would be really helpful. I was trying to remember what that poll was called. Yeah. Yeah. And that's like that. That's a really good way to do it. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So I appreciate the offer. Absolutely. Okay. okay. Great. And we are saying that spouses, partners. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. All right. By the way, Kayla sends her greetings to all of you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. We send greetings back. Yeah. She'll always be a member Absolutely. and a leader in our team. Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Founder. 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 Yeah. So I think we've got, I don't know that we need to vote on having Megan do that. I, I'm good with it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's an um, official gathering. Right. So uh, uh, we've got down here just that there's the next senior center movie matinee. Mm -hmm. If there's anything Anything else to discuss about that? Do we know the title, the movie that's being presented? Yeah, I believe we do. Somewhere what is here. it? Oh, here it is. In the minutes, under number 4F. <clears throat> has got the... It's yeah. the High and the Hog Ju Juneteenth yeah. episode. Mm -hmm. And there's some snacks listed here. Yes. It says on the minutes, stay to lead a short discussion after. Is that something we are we are facilitating? I think we are. <laughs> okay. But I think unlike other discussions, I think it's just a general um, you know, discussion without um, you know, I, I think the growing up trans discussion required some preparation. Yeah. This is, you know, what did you think? Were there things you didn't know? I mean, different yeah. than would be my opinion, but I don't know how other people feel. Right. Yeah. It's, um, it's a different kind of film, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's just an informal, what do you think? What do you think, exactly? Mm -hmm. And what would you like to see in the future? Do you have any topics that you would like us to find a movie about? That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Good. Does one of us want to facilitate that? Who knows they're coming? Uh, I, I don't know for sure that I'm coming out as it is a work day for me, but. Mm -hmm. Sure. I'd be happy to do it. Great. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. Great. Thank you, Pat. I'm going to try to come. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Is, is there any need for any more snacks? Or we? It looks like we're covered there. Yeah, I, I think we're. I think we're good. Okay. Um. Okay. Anything else on that? We're good with that. Okay. Um. The next topic here. I'm excited to hear about update from the world language teachers, teachers at Hopkins and how CDEI can support their spring event. Is that you, Pat? It, it was, I did offer it, but I didn't <laughs> offer to go find out. <laughs> I just threw it out as an agenda item. So um, I, I think we'll have to um, table that until the next meeting. Okay. okay. I find the actual well, and that's okay because yes, in June. Right. I seem to remember that was that was a Friday sometime. Did we yeah, even have a day? Day? We do. Mm -hmm. Some I thought we did have a date. Yeah. That might be best. It's May third. So by oh. the next time we meet it will have happened. Oh is it? Oh yes it is. Mm -hmm. Haitian group. Yeah. I will reach out and I will send an email. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Great. Thank you, Pat. We can at least try to attend. I would like to see. As an aside, my brother in law is who works in Haiti, uh, was given an opportunity to leave the country safely. Mm. He chose. To. Mm -hmm. uh, right. He had last time he was here, he applied for his passport it was expiring, so he applied for a new passport. He now can't get to the embassy to pick up his passport, so he's probably not going to be make it able to make it here for mm -hmm. Passover, which mm -hmm. starts next week. Mm -hmm. And he can be online, but he can't travel. He can't leave the country. Mm -hmm. And right now, it's hard enough to get around. 
uh, you can't freely move around because of the gangs. Mm-hmm. And it's just totally lawless. And um, mm-hmm. there are just numerous gangs, and they control different parts of the country and different roads. And mm-hmm. it's an awful situation. Wow. There is no government. So, just an update. I appreciate that. Yeah, we're so far removed from mm-hmm. these. Yeah. Uh, except for what we might read. Thank yeah. you. If we didn't have the ability to contact him over over the web, he would just be lost us and we wouldn't have any way to contact him. So keep us posted. Keep him in your thoughts. Okay, so we'll hear from Pat about that. Okay, new business ideas for future initiatives. Such as, could we host or co-host a meeting for a group watch of an educational video? I like Loretta Ross's work. I like that you put this down, Sarah. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> uh, do you want to talk more about about that mm-hmm. that idea? Because you offered this idea. Do well, I just to... because I keep seeing it in the Mount Toby meeting newsletter. Yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah. Which I'm not a regular attender anymore. And... Um, yeah, so I don't. I don't even really know the people's names who are in charge of these things, and I'm, I'm so out of touch. But I still get the newsletter. They're doing a lot of good anti-racism work in the meeting, from what I can tell from the newsletter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you got this idea from that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I would volunteer to follow up and research more about this. Mm-hmm. But I can't do it until I'm the end of the semester is over. That's not this is my up. And sure. So yeah. I would be happy to follow up after that. That sounds fascinating to me. Yeah. Do we have any money? Does our committee have access to any funds? Not that we know. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> Just because it'd be so great to host an event and... Uh, <laughs> yeah, not your money, Joanne. But like, if if we really wanted to host an event like that, like you know, around Loretta Ross's work or anti-racism efforts, to be able to pay someone that really has expertise um, in facilitating that kind of dialogue, um, ideally a trainer of color, um, yeah. to be able yeah. to support that person's work. So that's just the thought. But it sounds like we don't. We don't necessarily have any funds. Yeah. Is it possible for us to ask the select board for money mm. for a project? Is that something we are eligible to if do? If you don't ask, you won't get. Right. Mm-hmm. If we had a good project and we could justify it, I wouldn't hesitate to put a proposal out for that. That is a very good question to mm. even to certainly. We have a specific question, right. but to know if that's a possibility in general. As I think it's a, leg- good, it's a legitimate part of our charge right? just to make the community aware of issues. And this seems like a very professional way to do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not us. We're, we're asking a professional who studies this, right. who knows mm-hmm. the theory. And I think we could justify that. Yeah. If we could get a date and yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then we could ask them, see what funds. It, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Again, if we find out the information, I'd be happy to write a request to the select mm-hmm. board mm-hmm. to yeah. uh, fund that. Right. And I think we have support on the board, or we might get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right, yeah. Mm-hmm. I would write our our content. We have a select board member who is a liaison to our committee, and I would go through them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Randy Eiser. I might ask. Hmm. Yeah, when that could be you know, what, when you have some time and space to, to check in with that person, right, to just see, 
is this a possibility? And then if so, we could put our heads together and maybe even identify some anti-racism educators, <laughs> excuse me, and then write, you know, and then take the time to write up a proposal um, so we don't, you know, do that legwork if it's, if it's definitely a hard no. But I know like the, at the school system level, um, they're doing a lot of work around restorative justice and um, looking at school culture and anti-racism work. So there, there seems to be some momentum there within the community. Um, and I imagine the school committee and other town leadership is in support. So I would hope that there, we could kind of be part of that too. If, if our proposal were next and that we couldn't get money to do it, we could cooperate with whoever else is doing that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. if we, when there's going to be one, we could help to advertise it and mm -hmm. to come that? to it. You make and, me think, I mean, Troy Bren would, mm -hmm. would, mm -hmm. I mean, maybe. Yeah. I think we have the contacts. If we if we found something we really believed in and yeah. wanted to help to sponsor or to help sponsor, mm -hmm. um, right. I think we could get because it could be an in service for employees. Mm -hmm. land oh, yeah. that That's would have right. um, broad, you know, opportunity mm -hmm. for education mm -hmm. for and there mm -hmm. are grants too. I mean, mm -hmm. I imagine there's some. Some grant, you know, Massachusetts grants and federal grants for money for training and education. Maybe yeah, a library could help us. I think if we aim to do something next fall, mm -hmm. that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah. Good time. Yeah. There's time to look on the yeah. ground, lay the groundwork, and really get an event that we can support. And yeah, that gives us time to build a, some support for it. Right. Right. That would be one. Engage Troy thing with that. I think that'd be great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it, is there any kind of motion here? I just yeah. want to be clear. Good, good. Yeah. No. Yeah. This needs a motion. Okay. If we have discussed it, it's an item that we have discussed and okay. we agree that it's something we should explore. It's, yeah, continuing, great. ongoing. Um, um, oh. Yeah. Okay, so if I can be in the minutes that I volunteered to follow up, that'll light a fire under me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll report back and see what I can find out. Great. I think the first thing I'll the first thing would be for any of you to send something like this, a specific person with a background that mm. that means it's it's something that's that could really benefit the community, somebody with a reputation and a name. Right. Mm -hmm. And then I could start by just calling Randy, connecting with him and saying, what about this, something like this? What mm -hmm. should we do to get support for this from, from the select board? Mm -hmm. And he probably would give some good um, answers to that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and let us know if it's a possibility. Yeah. And, you know, and I'd be willing. Yeah, that'd be great. So we have one name here. If anybody else has anybody else like that, that we should follow up on, or we just focus on Loretta Ross. Um, it's well, not realistic for us to have in, but. Uh, it, well, somebody like that. Yeah. yeah, I don't think uh, the Quakers are having her personally. Yes, no, it says it's, it's an educational video. Yeah. Was cool. yeah. Um, in in Troy Brin's um letter for his responses, you know, eight pages here. When we asked the question, the CDEI is interested in co-sponsoring supporting DEI educational opportunities for town residents and employees. We asked him, what programs have you found particularly helpful? And there's a whole bunch of them here. Oh, oh great. So, what I don't know here is implicit bias training, cultural competency workshops, inclusive. Uh, what I don't know is uh, where are they? 
there's not links here, is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Maybe he knows. Podcasts and TED Talks, books and publications, professional conferences, local workshops and training programs. Mm. Wonder if we were to ask him, we're, we're taking a look at the this section here. Is there something that rises to the top of your mind? We might just say the common language piece, but that uh, would that we might explore. This is um, six, five to six. Page six of. I have a copy if you want to. I, I brought some extras. Do you? Oh, like, thank uh, you. I, I, I brought them I last time. Oh, here. I think that's. Thank you. I think that's. He has. So I don't have one now, but you can have that one, Chris, if you want to print it out. I mean, that is I so think there's some great jam packed with good stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, that almost so. this almost circles back to our old business in connecting with Troy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems yeah, like so if oh sorry. No, you go please. It seems like, especially if we're wanting to look at this piece of trainings or workshops for town employees, that we would really need to collaborate with him on what that might look like or how we could support those efforts versus if we're going to do a more sort of general educational workshop that's more open to the public or um, that we could absolutely partner with him and other people, but that, you know, if it's town specific, that, that that would be something we would work with him on. Does that, am I, do you, am I understanding that correctly? So we were talking about the latter, about us mm. presenting to the communities. Um, okay. Yep. And I don't know if I just was missing something. I would assume something for Hadley town employees would come from him. Yeah. Rather than oh, I see. How's it? How's the question worded again? On the uh, on the agenda, on the letter from I gave. I don't have a copy now. I just gave you mine. Okay. Could we host or co-host the meeting for a group watching an educational video and then hold a workshop? Well, Is this the kind of thing we could do here in Hadley? It doesn't specific say for employees. Yeah. Right. I only brought what he had on here because it was such a rich resource. Mm -hmm. uh, Got it. But it was for the public, why couldn't town employees? Then? Well, it's, and the question we asked him actually had to do with the town residents and, and employees. That's what oh, we asked. And then he suggested some broad topics that might appeal to just a resident, but also someone who's, who's a staff member. Right, that's, that's where I was going with it. I mean, and the way he answered the question, there are many valuable DEI educational opportunities and resources that I have found helpful in advancing my understanding. Hmm. So I just saw this as, wow, there's a, here's this piece that now Toby's doing, but this looks like a, a rich set of, you know, ideas here. I think something employees would have to come from his office right or right select. i think whatever we mm -hmm. offer to the public we could invite employees exactly yeah but that's as far as i was thinking is that it's open to anybody yeah and maybe he would promote it. yeah we could ask him to promote it and let yeah that, yeah employees know right Okay. I, I, I want to say one more thing. Sorry. In our age, we're finally in the last two or three or maybe five years coming as a society, I should say some societies, in recognizing that this kind of thing is needed. Yeah. Not everywhere and not everybody. But there are a lot of things going on like this. And if we were going to sponsor something, we would really need to get the word out through somebody like him for us. Um, it's just a lot of it. 
I hear, and, and it's a good thing. I'm not complaining, but I don't think it gets to everybody. I think the more we can do, the more likelihood there is that the message is going to reach people. Right. Uh, so coming from us, it might reach a few people that wouldn't go to something that somebody yeah. else is sponsoring. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the more different venues, you know, just like when somebody points out that, well, you put a program on at the senior center and you get one crowd. If you put the same program on at the library, you get a different crowd. Mm -hmm. cool. Some people go to the senior center, some people go to the library. We'll go to both, but a lot. Being people. at the university this semester has, yeah. has uh, made me very aware and impressed with what groups like your department are doing on mm -hmm. campus. Mm -hmm. Administrative offices are doing. There's a lot of that going on. Mm -hmm. Opportunity and inviting people to reach out and think about other groups mm -hmm. and think about these issues. Yeah. And I've been very impressed with that. Mm -hmm. Marcus mentioned that. Reach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who knows who they reach? But mm -hmm. another opportunity might reach somebody that right. some other one won't. Yeah. Okay. Well, Okay, do happy. There's that's rich, <laughs> rich dialogue. Yes, this uh, I think we're good with that. Um, moving on, uh, the piece digital literacy, digital mm -hmm. opportunity, equity opportunities for Hadley. Did I see an email with that? There isn't, or it's a what were you going to talk about that, Alex? Here you are. <laughs> yeah, here I, I am. Who was going to talk about that? <laughs> yeah, so um, we are we we just got word that we got we're going to be getting some funding to hopefully develop a digital equity plan for the town. Uh, we don't have I don't have more information more than that. So I'm not sure how much we're getting or anything like that. We are on are on the track to get money for that from the Massachusetts Broadband Institute. Um and I saw in the on the agenda that we want to know how you can help. Right now we don't know what we need help with until we get this funding and we talk to a consultant and get this um get the ball rolling. Um I will keep the uh this committee in in the loop of what we're doing. Right. Um and hopefully get all your all your y'all's input um, for digital equity. Um, this would include um, digital literacy programs, um, teaching people how to use like certain social media platforms or other things. Um, this also includes um, broadband. Pretty much what this plan, what the plan would do is that it will help identify grants from MBI. Um, that we could take advantage of to bring these programs to Hadley. Mm -hmm. um, a lot, there are a lot of communities working on this, um, working on these plans. A lot of them are town, half more than half of them are town smaller than Hadley. So mm -hmm. um, uh, it's a great opportunity. So, and I guess that'll keep you all in the loop and we'll go on. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I'm really. I'm really glad to know that small towns are starting to get this kind of attention because it seems like everywhere you turn, the assumption is that everybody has the latest technology and the fastest internet that they can always count on working and never <laughs> cuts out. <laughs> and guess what? A lot of us don't have the internet. And there's still underserved towns in Hadley that don't have access to charter internet. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's something we're working on and on the, in the behind the scenes. So we're right. trying to at least. Um, but but uh, yeah. we're, we're, we're going to be working on a plan to bring this forward. Yeah, cool. Does this include actual hardware, like devices that people, people? And they do mention on their website, but like I said, all, all the plan would do is identify where, like, Almost like the age and dementia friendly, identified weaknesses, couple of action plans, okay. all that, mm -hmm. um, and see where what Hadley needs, what needs to be done and happen. Oh, well, I see. I got you. Yeah, it's a plan. It's a plan. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. See what the needs are. Yeah, it's great. Cool. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, good. Thanks for that. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for being here to share that. You're welcome. That's excellent. Wonderful. <laughs> okay. So now this is wide open for anyone to put anything on the table. Open agenda, and it's 10 of 8, so you have 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I think this is wonderful. I think we've had a lot to do just from yeah. what we've talked about here. Yeah, um, yeah. I, it's just kind of we, exciting. If we follow up on all the things we mentioned there, yeah, we've, we've got a lot going. Yeah, yeah. I will look back in my emails from Mount Toby, the ones that I still have that pertain to that workshop, to, to see if it helps us figure out where to start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any information on where it's been successful would be yeah. helpful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm so glad to get this. I didn't I missed his talk. And yeah. yeah. Do you do you want it electronically as well, Wayne? Or no. that's good. I'm like you. I like it. Yeah. Glad I brought that. Yeah, it was really good. If it were electronic, I don't know if I could find it. I, right. I, I, I believe it. Yeah. I, Especially teaching this semester. This is just, yeah. my computer is yeah. a mess. Yeah, I'm a paper person. It is yeah. a mess. Yes. 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 Yeah. Did anyone else have a pad or Megan, any anything to throw out here in terms of open agenda? Or do you kind of feel the same way? <laughs> you got good ideas. Yeah, I think we have some great ideas that we could follow up on. I mean, I do know some um, DEI educators in the community, so I could also ask those folks in terms of um, who might facilitate those kinds of workshops and um, and typically what sort of time commitment or compensation looks like for educators. I think it could be helpful to get more information about. So I can just kind of um, reach out to folks and start gathering some information myself too. That would be really great. I like the idea of accessing some local. Yeah, uh, you know, yes, there's a lot. There's a yep. lot. Yeah, that'd be great. Anyone else? Pat, anything? Mm -hmm. No, I'm good. I, mean, I like the idea of planning for the future. Mm -hmm. That that is helpful for us to think longer term the kinds of things that we would do, and um, really looking at next year in the fall. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you know, I think we have some things that we do, um, and then we'd like to add a few other things. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a good partnership with the senior center, for example, and the movie map. And um, I don't know if, there, if the World's Fair will happen this year. I haven't heard anything about it, but that has mm -hmm. been something. Yeah, I mean, maybe if we invite Happy Learns to come and chat with us, it'll get them. Yeah, let's find out. Our ball rolling again. Yeah, that was certainly fun. Do we know, I just thought of this, the uh, town meeting is May 2nd. Do we know, does the annual report show up there that would have our, every committee's? It um, should. We did submit it on time, and she received it. I think it came out in June last year, <laughs> right after, of course. <laughs> yeah, I, I do think, think it came out in June. I could be wrong. The book or the book? It's usually at town meetings. I remember it had been in the past. <laughs> yeah. So that's a definite maybe. <laughs> I mean, the idea. I can ask when I, I, I when I take back <laughs> and reach out to Jennifer. So town meeting is definitely link. May second. Yes, it says so in my book. <laughs> I didn't know if there's anything that a town meeting. I think they just usually have the agenda. They don't usually have groups having at the, anything at the table. We some, have some things at the table before. Yeah. As, some, as, as we start, I see us coalescing into having some regular things like the, the movies with the senior center. It, it would be nice to hear, to have some little flyers as here we are, this is what we do, and mm -hmm. welcome 
have your input, you know, but as we see, we, we don't, we have us attending, but we don't usually get any from, from the public coming mm-hmm. on Zoom. What, or maybe we do or don't want that, but, you know, we're here to yeah. serve, so. Well, as Pat's pointed out, people do watch our recording. This is true. <laughs> no. That's encouraging. Yeah. I don't know if you were here, Wayne, but Alex reported stats. There's lots of, there's quite a few views of our recordings. Of All our right. Videos. That's good. He was giving us stats. 30 or 40 or so, you know, each. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, That's great to you know. So, yeah. <clears throat> Hello out there. I'm glad you're watching. <laughs> We're here for you. Give us your ideas. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Comments, please. Mm-hmm. Okay. If, if there's nothing else people have for an open agenda, do we? Shall we proceed and, and wrap up earlier? Is that okay with people? <laughs> or we can hang. We should publish the fact that we ended early. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. We go until eight fifteen, with the idea that if we needed the extra fifteen minutes, we could have it. But I, I think it was supposed to be like an hour and fifteen minutes. We agreed, to. right? We can mm-hmm. become the field committee and not go on if we don't have anything to do. Yeah. And hope that 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 spreads to other committees. <laughs> You're right. Make up for some of the time that we shall. I make a motion to that we adjourn. Well, uh, there, there, there's an option here for a closing reflection. Okay. And if anyone would would like to share a closing reflection, I reflect this. This has been very convenient. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for having such a succinct yeah. agenda. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, and for taking pleasure. the chair at the very last oh, minute. Yeah. I yes. Know it was very- you're, you're welcome. I, I yes. chair meetings in the office, but we don't do any motions and all in favor. So I, that's I'm less familiar with that part of it. <laughs> I will have to, as far as number eight goes, um, we can we move on to number eight? Sure, yeah. sure. Um, I'll have to check out all those dates. I don't write at the moment no any conflicts. Okay. But uh, I think it'd be good if all of us checked our calendars to make sure that we know yeah. that we might not be in this one. We've had these dates on the last three or four months agenda, so yeah. we, we've looked at it, but I'm glad that you have them there. I am I have not. It's okay. Them, so It's okay. Yeah. May you I have a lot on your plate. You, I will look. You, yeah. yeah. Amnesty for you. I think we changed one, though. I think the November one was changed from the 14th to the next week. 21st? I do think so. Oh, but that? I did not change the room. So we should leave no. it as it is. Because okay. I think it's supposed to be the third Thursday. Our meetings are the third Thursday. All right. And the third Thursday is not the 14th. Right. I mm-hmm. thought that got... As of Thanksgiving, but Thanksgiving is not till the twenty. That's right. Mm-hmm. Right. So maybe we. Mm-hmm. Was, was, I think I use this year's calendar. So anyway, oh. I someone proposed that we change it to the following Thursday, but I did not change the room yet. So um, I'll leave it as this, the fourteenth, until I change the room, and then I'll bring it. You'll tell us. I will tell you that we have this room reserved for the following Thursday. So I'm going to write that as a to do for me. Craig, you brought that up. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I, I'm, I'm backing up a second just when we mention closing reflection something that I, I want to share um, is uh, a, a piece that was in the New York Times a couple, three weeks ago just, I don't know if anyone looks at the magazine in the New York Times on the Sunday edition but the uh, <clears throat> the writer I think her name is Nicole Hannah Jones. She was responsible for what's called the 1619 Project. I figured you all heard of that. So she had a piece in there which was very illuminating about this shift from the all of the uh, the, uh, the legislation in, that Lyndon Johnson put in that put into law, and in, I think it was 1968, with all these. Um, uh, these laws to have 
more opportunities for uh, people of, of color to get into colleges and universities and jobs. Uh, I forget the name of <laughs> affirmative action. Affirmative action. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um, she was commenting about how it's coming apart mm -hmm. and why. And what I had not fully understood was the, the affirmative action piece was all about creating equity, giving people a leg up who have, you know, clearly don't have a high enough stool to see over the fence, to use that, that image that we've, uh, you've all seen the image about the difference between equity and equality. And the, uh, these different um, initiatives we're seeing where college admissions now don't uh, have race as part of the factor. Mm -hmm. the, the, the movement has been it, it, that's not equal and that they're, they're forgetting that this was not about equality. This was about equity. Mm -hmm. um, if you see that article or if you want me to send you a link, um, it, it, she said that it's been gradually happening ever since that legislation mm -hmm. to try to tear it apart. And, and I, I just hadn't thought about that. And I just thought I'd just share that because it, was, it reminded me about the, the challenge to convey to people that justice and fairness has to include, equity, you know, helping people who need more help. Right. And, and it looks different. Well, there's, a, there's another side to that that, and I can't remember where it came to mind to to read about it but it um when when the major highways were being built mm -hmm. those highways usually went through the homes of poor people mm -hmm. and moved them mm -hmm. separated them from the more uh, affluent parts of town. And that didn't happen just in Los Angeles or just in San Francisco. Right. It happened in Atlanta. It happened in all the big cities. Yes, it did. And it's so so very clear. Also, it, it didn't address the laws which, uh, which affected people's credit, which affected people's... Um, Ability not only to to, uh, to borrow money, but to build, to own a home. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Those haven't been undone. Mm -hmm. Those highways are still there. There's still the separation, and it has gone on. That goes so deep into society mm -hmm. that we don't even think about it anymore. And it's right. it's a given. It's as if somebody has been required to walk on crutches, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. even if they weren't lame, mm -hmm. but we're going to require you to walk on crutches. Our sons and daughters can run and play and whatever, but your children have to walk on crutches. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't borrow money to own a home. So generations of people can't own a home. Mm -hmm. It's beginning to happen to everybody now, but then it was a racist thing. Those things haven't been undone. No, they haven't. Right. They're still going on, and it's a source so deep. Um, I admit at my age, I'm beginning to lose hope mm. that it will be. Mm. And, and I don't see a way out right now. Mm. And those are the things that our committee can address. We can address awareness of those right. things, but that's uh, that goes very deep, very very deep. So, and 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 the Supreme Court is saying no, that didn't exist. You can't you can't address that. They're just absolutely denying that that exists. A majority of the Supreme Court of this country. Mm -hmm. One of whom is a person of color. And it's causing me to really lose hope. Mm. What we can do about that, I'm not sure, but we can make our part of the world 
a little more aware right. of those kinds yeah. of things. Even if we can't attack the big ones, mm -hmm. we can continue to do what, mm -hmm. what you have led us to do, which is to make people aware of the things we can change. Exactly right. And yeah. that's our only hope as a society. And to make sure that the true history still gets told. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yep. Mm -hmm. Where I do have hope is that there, are, I think there's more and more pockets of people like us mm -hmm. around. And when something, I lo always love the analogy that the darker the shadows get, the brighter the light is. Mm -hmm. So think people who, who are working for peace and truth and justice mm -hmm. see that. And we're seeing how, how, how awful it is. And maybe 50 years ago or 65 years ago when I was born, you didn't even see it. You know, I, I grew up in a completely white area. You know, it, you, 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 I don't know, you get your eyes, you get awakened at some point, but I, I, this will take generations. So it, we may not, but we'll, we'll, we'll pass the baton. Yeah. I have a son who lives in Atlanta. I have two sons. One is in Philadelphia, one's in Atlanta. And the wife and um, sister-in-law of my son in Atlanta are racist. There's no other way to put it. Um, and he, they, I think, probably to preserve his family and his marriage, we can't talk about politics. Right. Mm -hmm. I had to say at one time, if we want to be able to talk, we cannot talk. We, it has to be off limits. Yeah. And we both agreed to do that. It has opened a hole in our relationship. Mm -hmm. But that's the only way we preserve the relationship. Yeah. And when I visit in Atlanta, I mean, we're, we're fine. But I, I was raised in Atlanta. I know where those places yeah. are. Yeah. yeah. And I know the history. And I know why it's... Yeah. 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 Um, so at my ripe old age, I'm, when I should be most hopeful, mm. I'm not. And I have to I have to deal with that. I can't lose hope. I have to acknowledge that it's not there. And so what we're doing on a small scale is going against that. Mm -hmm. And we need to keep doing it. Yeah. No matter how small. Yeah. Maybe there's one or two people that will think differently, or there are a lot of people who just aren't aware of it all. Right, yeah. They can afford to be. Yeah. So I don't know why I got off of I think it has to do with what we're doing. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think I think you have a little hope, and that's what brought, right, that yep. brings you here. Yep. So we'll, exactly. we'll, we'll build on that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I appreciate your honesty, and I yeah. think all of us have feelings about. Yeah. I mean, don't get me started about climate stuff. You know, we have yeah. different yeah. issues that just yeah. seem seem yeah. so powerless, and yet a unified group of people working towards a common purpose can can do magical things. But for us, it'll be on the local level, I think. Right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And That's why not? That's what we're charged. And we can change real lives with that. I mean, exactly. mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Maybe and there is. Sorry. Sorry for interrupting. Please go. I, I just appreciate you, Wayne, sharing sharing your some hopelessness or sharing some grief about, right? Like that's what I hear is some grief and sadness about the state of our country and all the suffering and our, you know, incredibly racist and violent history and things that are absolutely getting played out now still. Um, that for me, there's something important in what you're sharing about just acknowledging that pain too right mm. um yeah i don't have anything profound to say about it but i just think it's part of the work is 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 um especially for me as a white person is be is is letting myself be impacted by the pain of racism or by the horror of racism by the violence in our country and in our history and so I think it's, um, I appreciate you naming that. I do too. Mm -hmm. I'm glad for a place to share it. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. acknowledge it. But yeah, but Joanne is right. There's more and more of this sort of bubbling up. Like I've been watching a lot of webinars through various libraries in different parts of the state. And one series has been visits to historic properties that are, I guess it's Historic New England or something. Anyway, this is an organization that oversees a bunch of these historic properties. And there are all these beautiful, big, gracious homes that founding father type people lived in. And in the past, you would have just had your virtual tour and seen the beautiful dining room and the beautiful sitting room and the beautiful bedrooms and the beautiful lawns. And now they make sure to include, and there were enslaved people who lived on this property and looked after the garden and did the laundry and took care of the horses. And, yep. and we know some of their names and this is her bedroom and this is his, you know, where he worked in the stables. And, yes. and that is the most exciting and growing part of their research right now they all talk yeah. about it. they yeah. all yeah they all well, include that yeah. they all yeah. talk about it as being this is the booming you know this is the blossoming part of our research right now i think that house just down the road yep. is doing yep they're that, doing that it. very thing. Amazing. that was the yeah. first one i was aware of and then i started watching these webinars and they're all they're all doing it it's fun. They're doing it that is great yeah May wow it yeah there we go we're all smiling now. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of good people in this world. Mm -hmm. We just don't mm -hmm. hear about them. Mm -hmm. That's what that one. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, I would just okay. add that for me, the, the recognition of all the pain and suffering that people continue to experience is one of the reasons that I do this work. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's sometimes inconvenient. And it's um, mm -hmm. but it's by comparison so much lighter and easier than the burden that other people carry mm -hmm. that I exactly. feel compelled to do it. Exactly. You mm -hmm. know, because it, mm -hmm. because I can do this one thing or, or, or several one things, but I'm never going to experience um, the depth of inequity that others have experienced in my lifetime and continue to experience so for me that's the driving force mm -hmm. i was sort of an informal godmother she was not mm -hmm. named that there was no ceremony but somehow she entered my life she was a friend of my mother's both of them working women she was single um and i knew her from and I was three or four. She said, I spent a lot of time with her. And she, in Atlanta, segregated Atlanta in the 1950s, 1940s. She found ways to make people aware in a very quiet way. She asked me, this, teenage boys, we would go downtown to Atlanta that's a streetcar and hang out all day Saturday in Atlanta. We would go to, you know, there were two, there's Woolworths and another dime store. There were a lot of movies and we'd go to movies. We could go in. Mm -hmm. She asked me one time as a 13 year old, I think I was, I saw you had time, you, had, you and your buddies had time down in Atlanta and you had a fun time. What if you were a black woman with an infant who was shopping downtown? And you were tired and you were carrying packages in this baby. Where would you sit down and have a Coke, Wayne? Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Constantly asking questions like that, which I didn't process until much later. Mm -hmm. She was a pioneer. Indeed. Yeah. And so aware exactly. of that. And if she hadn't said those things to me, yeah, she planted mm -hmm. seeds. Yeah, you know, she did. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nobody else yeah. is saying those kinds of things. Yeah. Yeah. My dear mother and wow. stepfather are wonderful people. Yeah. They're kind people, but they were segregationists. The power of one person. Oh, my yeah. God. See? Yeah. Hopefully, we can be that power. That's what yeah. we're doing. <laughs> Speaking and what Megan said, too, about her yeah. students, right? Yeah. Exactly. There, I feel always there's hope in. In groups of young people who, yeah. who really see the world differently, who have lots yeah. of energy.
commitment and um, no hesitation to call out discrimination in a way that I think my generation didn't do. Mm -hmm. So I feel hopeful when I encounter these groups of young people. Mm -hmm. There is hope. We've got to find it mm -hmm. somehow. That's very, it's really important. That's well said. It's there. We just got to find it. Yeah. So I forced myself to read the newspaper. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. I don't want to hear it. And then there's so. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. And for what you do, I mean, this committee is important. And I appreciate the work that mm, yeah. you do. Very important. Would someone like to call for a journey? I, I feel like it feels like right now. Yes. Thank you, mm -hmm. Lenny. That? Second. Sarah. Okay. Shall Second. we all? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All.